when you come to Target, Target tells you what you need. So I am open for Target to tell me what I need. Hi babes and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, hi my name is Imana and today you got me on a good day because we are doing a weekend vlog. So I'm super excited. My best friend is in town. We're about to hang out and just do like a lot of little stuff in Atlanta. So tonight we're actually going to go get sushi. Um, so super excited about that. Um, so we're about to head out, but I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of me uh, taking my hair out because I know that some of you guys are gonna ask. Um, and then I'll show you guys like the full fit. I just wanted to show you guys what I was wearing. So I have this blue matching set from Runway Without Rules. And then I have my cute little trench coat. This is from Shein. Also paired it with like my little Cartier bracelet. And then for now I'm wearing Uggs, but I did pack an extra pair of heels. Oh, and I'm carrying my YSL bag. Okay, so I also have like my YSL bag. I just thought that this would be like super cute to go with this because I could have done gray Chanel, but... I didn't want to do that so I thought this would be like a really nice pop of color so yeah now we're on our way out <laughs> Okay, so that was fun. I beat both of them the first Girl, game. Fuck you, lie, because I definitely won the second game. See, now I gotta and bleep we that tied out. The first game. See, see, now I gotta. And we tied the first game. <laughs> they are clearly under the influence. Um, so I beat them. I remember the score. I beat them on the first game. The first the, the thing was you know broke. what? It's I, I can't. Show you. Really because the first bowl you bowled was a strike. And it was the game wasn't working. So that was really fun. It's a great little girls night out. So now we're on our way back home. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Saturday, babes. So today, who is going to be a pretty good day. We were supposed to go to this winery today. Um, but I ended up having to change, I guess, where we were going because they just have like really strict COVID, um, regulations or whatever. So I just changed the place of where we were going. So it is, I want to say about 1115 now. So I'm just going to take my hair out. So the other reason why I had wanted to show you guys how I take my hair out is to kind of show you how the flexi rods are. 
So I know I get a lot of questions on like, how do I sleep in flexi rods? Like, how is it comfortable and all that stuff? What I have learned is that when you flexi rod your hair, if you do it flat to where there's not a lot of flexi rods on top of each other, it's a lot more comfortable to sleep in. Um, but when you put the flexi rods in, like some people will have them like, you know, they'll have a ton of flexi rods in. They're kind of stacked on top of each other and stuff. And that's when I find it to be the most uncomfortable to sleep in. But when I do it, I just kind of section my hair off in like, like five sections to the side and then I just put the flexi rods in like that but you just want to make sure that they're flat and like you don't have flexi rods like sitting on top of each other and I found that like they're pretty comfortable to sleep in that way because I know you saw me take my flexi rods out yesterday but yesterday I think I want to say I had more curls in so I really didn't sleep that comfortable in them the night before but last night I slept pretty comfortable and also, it was like really humid last night, so my hair was like pretty big by the end of the night, which is another reason why I was like, let me just go on ahead and like re-rod my hair um, so that it'll be a little bit more curly today. But yeah, other than that, yeah. Also, I do have a bag that I'm going to show you guys on here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show you guys like the Fendi bag or another YSL bag, but I'm gonna show you a bag and then what else? Yeah, so I'm gonna finish getting ready. Okay, so as you can see, I got my little outfit on and everything. Definitely gonna show you guys what I'm wearing when we head out because I actually think this is so cute. I got it from Shein um, and it's actually really comfortable. So yeah, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the new bag. Um, I'm super excited. I, I think I'm starting to like, you know, the bags that Fendi has to offer um so i think these are really cute i want to say that in like one of my other vlogs sorry oh this is so cute the little dust bag that it comes in somebody had asked me to specify more so like when a bag is inspired versus when a bag is authentic and i just want you guys to know that like i will always 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 leave disclaimers in the description box down below so um sometimes like i'll reply to the message sometimes i won't and it's simply because like it will either be specified in the title or in the description box i don't always vividly say it in the video so you know just kind of peek around read a little bit um and then hopefully like all your questions will be answered in the description box but this is the bag i think that this dust bag is like super cute um and i also feel like when i do vlogs like like this like type of unboxing like I said, I don't really do these like on my channel anymore. So it's like, if you catch me in a blog, then it's like, you get to see, you know, like the initial reaction. And I'm also guessing that like the person who asked me to specify if it was authentic or not, like, I guess they were asking because if maybe they're getting like maybe a non-authentic bag and they just wanted to compare, like see what it looks like. I'm not really sure. But like I said, I, I really do try to put all of that information. If it's not in the title, then it's definitely in the description box because I would never pass a bag and tell you guys that it's authentic if it's not also nine times out of ten if it's authentic then i will tell you in the video that it's authentic if it's not if i don't verbally say that then it's probably just in the description box so just that, like some little nuggets that i try to like drop in here so um i hope that that like helps or like answers the question or whatever that case may be and like you can always just like send me a dm on instagram um <laughs> So funny thing is, I, I know I'm gonna show you the back, I'm gonna show you that, but I also feel like in these vlogs, like I can kind of vent to y'all just, just a little bit. So I know that like I put in the description box to send me a DM. And so some people will like, D, they'll message like under the video or like under my picture or whatever. And they're like, can you check your DM? Can you check your DM? Can you check your DM? I'm like, babes, I am one person. And there are some days where I am not on social media because I just I just need a break. So it's like I do a lot of little things and you know, my mental health is really important to me. So it's like, I don't want you guys to think that I'm ignoring you because I'm not ignoring you. I really do reply back to all of my DMs, which is something that not a lot of YouTubers do or just like people on Instagram. Like sometimes they won't reply back to you, but like I will literally reply back to you. So it's like when I see, the same person like 
commenting under multiple videos or commenting under multiple pictures, I'm gonna be quite honest, it doesn't make me reply back any faster. Um, so it's like, I will get to you, but I'm not, I'm not ignoring you. Like there are just some days where it's just like, you know, like I, I don't want to be on social media or, or I just need a break. Or maybe like I've had a rough day at work, or maybe I've had something go on in my personal life. And so like those mental breaks for me are very much needed, but I will never just ignore or, or not respond back to someone's DM. So I also just like wanted to say that. And I feel like a lot of the babes that like watch these types of vlogs, like it's probably not you guys. It's probably somebody who's just like new or whatever. But like, sometimes I just don't think that like, we stop and think like, oh, like maybe this person isn't like ignoring me or whatever. And like, for those of you who do comment back and they're like, she will respond, like just give her a minute. I really appreciate that because it's like, I will respond. Um, sometimes, sometimes like even I just have a bad day. And, you know, being on social media just isn't the right thing for me to do at that moment, if that makes sense. So I hope that you guys can, like, understand, like, in no way am I trying to be, like, mean or rude, but there are just some days where, like, I just can't be on social media. So, like, I just really don't want to be mean, but I've just noticed that a lot, and, like, some people will just blow up, like, all my videos and say, respond, 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 and it's like, I see your comment, I'm going to respond, but, like, I'm just not in a good mental headspace to be on social media today, if that makes sense. Um, so enough about like my little brand. Back to the bag. Um, so it's kind of small. Again, me and these small bags. I don't know. I'm also going to do a video of just like all of my small bags, but this is it. Oh my gosh. This is actually really pretty. Like this is definitely a dinner bag. Now y'all know I'm not used to having things like this. So let me figure out how to open it. Okay. Not hard. And that's kind of like what the inside looks like. Oh yeah, this is definitely cute. Like a cute little clutch. It does have like some additional tape around it and it does come with an extended strap. So this is super cute. Let's see. And I'll show you guys like how it falls on my waist and stuff. This is a very skinny strap, but I think for this type of bag, I don't know if I would just use this as like a brunch bag or if I really would want to use the strap on it. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like. Let me try to stand up so that you guys can like see where it falls on me. But this is cute. Get like a cute little like under your back thing. I could honestly carry this bag today, but I'm not carrying this bag today. I'm actually going to carry this bag today um, because my friend and I are going to like this um, winery type spot. It's not like an actual winery, so not like Chateau Milan, but like a wine restaurant bar type thing. Something I found on TikTok, of course. So we're gonna go check it out. And I just wanted to carry like a bigger bag today, especially since last night, like I carried a smaller bag. But I definitely do think that this bag is super cute. I think that this is like a cute bag to where like if you're going out for like Valentine's Day or if you're just going out with like, you know, just a regular date night or whatever, definitely maybe not like an everyday bag, but I still think it's super cute. And I will say that this is probably the smaller one because I believe they do have larger bags that come in this style so yeah but i'm gonna show you guys the full outfit of what i'm wearing today still trying to decide on what shoes i want to wear because it's definitely cold here today um i was thinking about like wearing my little coach mules but these mules don't have fur in them so my feet will be a little cold and then i was thinking about just kicking it with maybe like some adidas um but I don't know if I'm gonna go with that. I think the Adidas that I'm thinking of, I wanna say they have brown and black in them. I don't know, but we'll see. So let me figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear and then we're gonna go on ahead and head out. Okay, so I'll insert the clip right here of me like showing you guys like the full fit, but I was contemplating on if I was gonna wear these shoes because these are like super cute and they go with my glasses, really comfortable for if we go like walking around and I just really like these, but I can't tell if the pattern is throwing it off with like my jacket and then I'll have pattern in my shoes. 
but I don't know like I really like these these shoes are also like pure white and my outfit is more of like a cream color but then like I said earlier like I also have my mules and my mules look really good because they're more of like that cream color whereas like it just goes better and you know just kind of like the gold accent and stuff but I'm just like it's 30 something degrees outside and my feet are going to be cold so I'm not sure I could also probably just toss on like some of my chestnut Uggs that was another thing last night I ended up um taking pictures and stuff so I actually just had on like my Uggs during the evening so it was like those heels are really only for pictures and since I am carrying a tote bag I mean I could easily put my mules back in my um, tote bag and just like wear my Uggs so I don't know but that's what I'm thinking so I'm gonna go ahead pack up my bag I think we have reservations at like 1 one thirty. so in about an hour um and then we're gonna go ahead and head out and I think there was like another store that my friend had wanted to go to that she found on TikTok so we may go over to that store and yeah oh i also finished my book so if you guys i don't remember if i showed you guys this book in the last vlog but i had started reading it on mlk day and i actually just finished it today which is saturday it was a pretty good book not gonna lie i will say that it was a bit young for me though so i didn't notice that it was for ages like 14 and up so it was like the drama that they had and like stuff that they were going through i couldn't really relate to it but it was still like a good book i was able to see why like parents do what they do just to like protect their children or whatever so um it was a pretty good book i'm glad that i got through it i think this would be like a great read if you have any like preteens like that it says for 14 and up so maybe like yeah like that like that teenager age or whatever i think they would like it and it's called facing the sun um so pretty good read if your daughters are into books um but yeah and then the next book that i'm gonna read i'm like super excited to start it this one so this is the next book that i'm gonna read and i'm super excited i think this one is more so up my alley as far as um age and just kind of like suspense and what's going to happen so i had picked this book up from target on tuesday this past week and what made me get it was i had flipped to just a random page in the book and i read a page out of it and i was instantly hooked i was like oh my gosh like i have to know what happens now so do any of you guys do that like when you're looking for books do you only read like the description of the book or do you turn to like a random page and see if you get inclined by reading it that way honestly i do both but yeah when i read like like one page out here I was like okay yeah give it to me and so this will probably be like the fourth book that I read this month I feel like I can get through this pretty quickly um because it doesn't really look like it's that long so a pretty quick read so I'm gonna pack up my bag and we're gonna go Alrighty, so let me let me tell y'all so we went to the wine spot the spot that I was telling you guys that we found on TikTok or whatever and y'all I just was not impressed like the energy was just off like they did not have ranch dressing and I was kind of annoyed um and it was just like it, it was just the energy like I can't really put my finger on it but like if you've ever just gone somewhere and you're like the energy is just off that's kind of how I felt so we didn't even try the wine that was there um I just wasn't feeling it so what we did do was we went to total wine and like one of the wine specialists there they had suggested four really good wines for us so um I'm gonna hop out we're gonna get like some pictures and stuff and like maybe thank you I'll be because I really like it and then we're right beside Target so like it's only right if we go to Target this is not my favorite target but it's just like you know we're literally right here like i can see it so we're just gonna end up going um and then uh probably go to aldi pick up stuff so that we can make like a charcuterie board and then probably just kind of like kick it and chill just hopping in and letting y'all know about the experience because it just it just wasn't a vibe for me but i will catch you guys probably in target Alrighty, so we're in target um no list no no plan purchases or whatever but you know what when you come to target target tells you what you need so i am open for target to tell me what i need 
or don't need, but will probably still buy. shaking up this little concoction that I made. Um, it's tomatoes, onions, green peppers, and mozzarella cheese. And I'm making like this salad. So I just have like a spring garden mix and then also added in some grilled chicken for a little bit of protein. This is a super easy salad. I thought this would go really well with the wine. And then I just topped it off with like the tomato um, mixture that I had. And then um, I used balsamic vinegar dressing and Italian dressing. So I have showered. I'm in something way more comfortable, changed my glasses and everything. Um, I just showed you guys like how I made this little salad or whatever. So the thing that I was tossing up, it was sliced tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and mozzarella cheese. Um, and then I put like balsamic vinegar on top. So you're more than welcome to like add croutons or whatever, but that's just what I put in our salad. Um, so now we're just gonna talk for a little bit, have a little bit of girl time, and then I will show you guys like how I put the charcuterie board together and then we're gonna watch Harlem. Oh, and uh, I will bring you guys along so that you can like see the wine tasting and stuff. But honey, we gotta get some food on our stomachs first. So we're gonna eat. And then I'm gonna come back and show you how to make the charcuterie board and then go through the wines with you guys. showed you guys so I'll insert a clip after this um, but I got my fireplace on and it's honestly just such a vibe right now so we put the wines kind of like in the freezer so that they could get cold um, and then I made like my charcuterie board so we have two whites two reds all of them are sweet because y'all know I don't do dry wine um, and then yeah so I'm gonna go on ahead taste these and then after that probably just gonna kick it and watch Harlow. Um, so, let's get to it. Alrighty, so the first one that we're gonna try is this one. I'm not even gonna mess up the name, but he told me that this is like a sweet red wine, so we shall see. And all these wines came from Total Wine, by the way. So I'm gonna pour it in my little glass. Okay. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Ooh, it does smell like really sweet. Mm. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot, she's cute. Okay, yes, so this is the one that he was telling me like the alcohol level isn't super high and it's not it's literally only 5.5 but it's very nice very sweet like i really like it so this is the second one that i'm going to try and so this one was the first one that he had picked out and the alcohol level is definitely up there it's 11.5 but he said that it was still pretty sweet so we're gonna find out. I'm gonna use a different little cup. 
half. How do you like it? Yeah, that one's really good. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Okay, this one definitely smells a little bit stronger. Wow. Okay. It's definitely stronger. It is sweet, not as sweet as the first one, but it's pretty good. I would definitely do this with like a pita pizza or like Italian, but I like it, like I really like it. And so now this one is a Riesling. And he said that this one should be pretty good as well. Alcohol level is like a 7.5, so we shall see. I got my handy dandy electric wine opener because we, we just a little bougie like that, okay? So gonna see. She a little frozen, but it's okay. We still gonna swirl. Still gonna swirl. Boom. Okay. It's not horrible. I've had better Rieslings though. And it's not even the fact that it's not sweet. I think it's more so of like the aftertaste for me, but it's not horrible. Like I'm gonna drink it, but I've had better Rieslings. And so then this is the last one. And this is like a sparkling, a white Italian sparkling wine. And the alcohol level is up there, it's like 9.5%. So we're gonna see. Okay, here we go. Oh, she's bubbly. More so bubbly than sweet, but she's cute. So those are the four wines. I definitely think that between the red wines, this one is my favorite, um, where the alcohol level wasn't too high, but I would definitely still drink the other one. And I think that between the two whites, I wanna say that I like this one because I feel like I can probably like add like some juice or something to this one and I'd be totally fine. So I think this was cute. I wanna say that I spent about maybe like $60 on the four bottles of wine and stuff. So honestly, I think that like, even if we did go to like an actual winery, probably still would've spent the same amount of money on just the wine tasting. We probably would've just gotten like maybe two more wines. I think most typical wine places, they give you either like five or six different wine tastings. Um, so I thought this was fun. So if you're thinking of like going to a winery, but maybe like you still want to stay in the house, keep it cozy, then I would definitely say just go to like your nearest, um, Total Wine, Trader Joe's or like Aldi and just like have them explain some of the wine to you and then take it home, make your own little charcuterie board and then just have like a girl's night in or like a date night in or whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're about to go on ahead and kick it and chill. I'm going to toss Harlem on and yeah this will be it so i'll see you babes tomorrow happy sunday um honestly not too too much going on but i thought that this would be like a fun little segment to add into this vlog so valentine's day is coming up february is coming up and i have like some super exciting fun content that's going to be going up in february so i thought that i would show you guys like how i get my little clothing rack together um, for this little holiday that's coming up. So for those of you who do have a clothing rack, maybe you needed like some inspiration on how to put clothes on your clothing rack and stuff like that. I thought this would be like really fun just to add in here. Um, and then for those of you who are new who have stuck around to this point of the video, I did get this clothing rack from Amazon and I also got these super cute um, pink hangers. And these are from Amazon as well. So I'll link both of those in the description box down below for you. Um, so I haven't really updated my cart since 
I want to say maybe like the last vlog that I did with just like showing you guys the cart because I did that wardrobe um, capsule thing. So I think right now what I want to do is like fill this cart up. Well, not fill it up, but like put some outfits on here of like white, pink, red, maybe black. So I know on Sunday, I'll be talking about some of your like most needed accessories for Valentine's Day. I'll be showing you guys like some bags, some shoes, accessories, jewelry, all that stuff. I'm going to go on ahead, take all this off, and then I'm going to bring over a few little things. I would show you guys like how I do all of my bags and stuff, but... I'm not even gonna lie, that would take forever. So maybe I'll put that like in another video. So comment down below if you would wanna see like how I organize my bags and just how like I switch them out, come out with my color schemes and put them up and all that good stuff. I think the first step when you are kind of trying to figure out like how you want your clothing rack to be is start off with like a color scheme or just like a theme in general. So like, is it gonna be Valentine's Day theme? Is it gonna be monochromatic themes? Like what is it that you're wanting your clothing rack to like show? So I think I'm gonna have like some jackets, um, maybe like some really cute dresses and stuff like that. And then over here, I'm definitely thinking maybe like white, red, black, pink bags. And I might add a pair of shoes, I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, so I brought you guys into my closet so that you can kind of see like where I'm getting like all my clothes from and just kind of like my thought process. So let me grab my iPad. And typically I will go to like Pinterest for some inspiration of what I'm thinking. And I found like some super cute stuff. Again, like you can be really minimalistic with this or you can be like really extra with this. I guess it really just depends on like your vibe. I think for me, I kind of want to be minimalistic because I want it to be able to show like the color schemes and all that stuff. So I'm thinking, like I said, white, pink, red type things. Um, and so I will not lie to you guys, some of the clothes that you guys see that I'm pulling out, these are actually new items. So in February on Instagram, I'll be doing like 14 looks of love or just like ideas of what you can wear for Valentine's Day. And it'll be a little bit of something for everybody, like those who are going out, those who are staying in the house, those who maybe just want to feel good about themselves, those who just want to chill. So it'll be like a collective of a lot of different types of outfits. I got a little bit of something for everybody, but I'm thinking that I will definitely start off with um, maybe like this pink jacket that I have here because I mean, it's pink, it's fluffy and it's like super cute. Also, I'm gonna definitely use like this red sweater because that screams Valentine's Day. I also have um, this really cute like red trench coat. Ooh, I have like this really cute like black bodysuit that I think would be really cute. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. I have this other red shirt. Also comment down below, like, do you guys have any plans for Valentine's Day yet? Like, are you guys gonna go out? Are you gonna stay in? Also, if you are maybe like going out, definitely give me some recommendations of maybe like some outfit styles that you'd wanna see or something like that. I think that would be like super fun. Okay, honestly, I think I have enough. So I'm gonna show you guys like this little color ensemble that I have on the floor because it's actually really kind of cute. And then uh, I'm gonna go over and just try to like see how this is gonna fit on this shelf over here. All right, so I have gone on ahead and brought all the clothes over here that I'm gonna use. I have a little bit of red, white, brown, nude, black. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna start off with kind of like white and then go down and it'll get a little bit darker. So let's just see how it looks. Hopefully I like it. <laughs> So I got like three cute little things for white. So I did it as like a button down blazer and then like a matching set. So I have another pink button down. So I'll start off with that. I do have a pink blazer, but I also have this jacket. So I think I'm gonna put the jacket up next. Those are like the only two things that I have of pink, but I do, I think I'm gonna put the blazer up next. So I think I'm gonna hang this dress up. But as you can see, like this dress is kind of like a back out dress. So I'm not really sure how I would be able to effectively hang this up. And it doesn't have those little, um, what you would call it, the strings that can be held up by the hanger. So, so I don't know, maybe I'll also just kind of like, I don't know if this is like the proper way to hang a dress like this, but this is how I'm gonna hang it. 
And now I feel like I need at least one more thing that's brown. So I think I'm gonna add a trench coat. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add like my stuff that's red. I think I'm gonna start off with this dress. Actually, I'm gonna start off with a button down shirt because I have a red button down shirt as well. So this one is actually from Zara. So I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space to add like my black stuff, but I figure I would finish the red section off with like my sweater and my trench coat. And so far I like it, not bad. So now I'm gonna kind of add like some really cute bags over here. Alrighty, so I brought you guys down a little bit. I have about four bags that maybe I'm thinking of putting right here. And then I have three sweaters that I think I'm gonna fold up. So here's how I have like my sweaters folded, pretty. And now I have like my bags. So I definitely wanna use this bag because I think it's so cute. So maybe I'll put this one right there. And then I also bought out like my super cute like pink LTL London bag. So maybe I can put that one on top. And then I was deciding between either my Kate Spade or like my Chanel bag. But honestly, just judging from like the other shapes of the bags that I have, I think I'm gonna go with my Kate Spade and I'm gonna put it on the bottom. So I think I have it. Let's stand back and take a look. So I actually really, really like it. I think this is super cute. But this just about wraps it up for this vlog. I hope that you all have enjoyed it. I'm going to spend the rest of my Sunday probably just reading and relaxing. And I know you guys don't want to watch me do that. Um, but I thought that this would be fun. So definitely comment down below. Maybe like what was your favorite part of the vlog. But other than that, babes, I hope that you have a good one. And I will see you, babes, in the next video. Bye.